All right, hi everybody, this is Chris. Um, this video I've called How to Learn to Speak Fluent Chinese. Um, this video is basically about how to teach yourself to understand and speak Mandarin Chinese to a very high standard. And by fluent, I mean smooth and flowing speech without a lot of hesitation, not speaking perfectly like a native speaker would do, which I believe isn't really a realistic goal for the language learner. It's all about communication and being able to express yourself naturally in the language. Um, I'm not about to tell you that you can learn Chinese in one month or in your sleep or something like that. It really does require continued effort and persistence. But I think if you really put the effort in, you should be able to survive getting around as a tourist um, after uh, three to six months. You should be functional in using the language in about a year fairly comfortable using it after about two years of study and then get to basic fluency in about two and a half to three years depending on your exposure and how much you practice. Well that's my experience anyway. So this video is about speaking Chinese and listening, understanding. It's not about reading and writing which I plan to deal with later in a separate video. Um, a lot of the content of this video can also be applied to learning other languages so it may be useful to you if you're learning other languages. Um, so with Chinese, obviously one big challenge is good pronunciation and good tones. So there's obviously four tones in Mandarin Chinese. Um, but the good news is that Mandarin is made up of a very limited number of phonemes, of syllables. And once you can pronounce all of these distinct syllables and you know how they're pronounced, um, you've basically cracked it, as long as your tones are accurate. Um, so first you should teach yourself pinyin, which is the way of representing Mandarin Chinese e using the English alphabet. So you should go to the pinyin table website, um, which I've put in the description to this video. It contains all of the sounds that exist in Mandarin Chinese uh, with audio for each one um, using the four tones, separate sound files. Um, so you can get to know how to pronounce all of the sounds in Mandarin Chinese from pinyin and practice using that and using looking at the four different tones separately learning how to pronounce them and once you get to the stage where you can pronounce any syllable accurately from reading the pinyin then you you've effectively cracked um, the pronunciation in Chinese which you can build on as you go along so as a beginners learning resource I recommend FSI Chinese a modular approach which is a former US government diplomat training course um, which is available freely online I'll put again I'll put the link in the description that course teaches all the basic structures and vocabulary that you need for everyday life situations the course is divided into the different sections which is really helpful and really drills the vocab and the grammar into you um, using a communicative um, audio lingual approach so it's very very effective um, Pay attention to careful pronunciation of the pinyin and getting your tones very accurate. Don't try to pronounce things too quickly at first. Aim for really accurate pronunciation of the tones and don't lose this as you speed up. So if you follow through that course, um, require some persistence, um, but take it slowly and you'll learn a lot very quickly. I also recommend the Pimsleur Mandarin course, levels one to three. It's quite expensive. Hopefully you can find that in a local library or online, um, which is, it's an audio only course, um, which also uses drill approach to get you confident in basic structures, basic grammar and vocabulary. Um, so a lot of that will be revision from the SFR, FSI, of course, um, but it should help to increase your confidence and make your speech more accurate. So if you take those two courses together, um, that will help you to establish a strong foundation in speaking Chinese as long as you don't rush through them too quickly and take time to practice everything and let it sink in. Um, once you've done that, I recommend that you learn to type in Chinese. Um, so you're probably wondering why you'd want to type at this point because you haven't been paying much attention to learning how to write characters and you might not know what you're typing. Um, the reason why is so you can input uh, Chinese into the computer in order to easily look up words and phrases using a dictionary on your computer. It's actually really easy to type in Chinese. You just type in the pinyin pronunciation of the Chinese sounds, which is the obviously the English letters 
and the software will come up with the characters for you. Um, you don't necessarily have to know exactly what you're typing in or the characters for it. So you should download the Solgol uh, Chinese input system. I believe it's the best one. Um, don't use the one that comes with Windows, I don't think it's as good. Uh, so if you download and install that, find out how to activate um, typing in Chinese. On my computer you press control and space. Um, so just go through the installation, even though it's all in Chinese, just click through the installation, install it. And then once you've selected it, you'll find that you can input Chinese words using the pinyin pronunciation. It will give you a list of options for the pronunciation that you've put in on the screen. And you select the number that corresponds to the character that you want to enter. So the most common words will generally be option one or option two. Um, you can also enter whole sentences in pinyin. So if you don't understand something, you can actually type in the whole sentence uh, by its sounds and the software will come up with all the characters for you. It's really, really clever and a great tool for learners. So try to use that at the start. Try to, for example, enter a, a sentence that you've come across and compare the result with the characters in your textbook. You'll find that um, as long as you enter a grammatical sentence, the, the software will actually be able to guess what you're saying. Um, so if you can do that, you need to install dictionary software so you actually know what you're typing in. I recommend the program Wenlin um, because it comes with an excellent Chinese to English dictionary, which is the ABC Chinese English Dictionary, which is really, really good. But also, um, if you don't want to pay for that, the program Dim Sum also does a similar thing, but that's free. So if you install one of these dictionaries and get used to typing in um, words and sentences that you don't understand, and then you can um, effectively you can move your mouse over the Chinese characters that you put in and the software will tell you what each word means. Um, so by typing words or sentences with the input into this software you can effectively look up any word or phrase in the dictionary that you hear instantaneously. Um, so by this point you should be able to write the pinyin for Chinese words that you hear. If, you, if you're not familiar enough with the pinyin you can go back to the table which I mentioned earlier online and revise and get used to um, coming up with the pinyin from the Chinese sounds. So with this new ability to look, to look up meanings for unknown words you can move on to tackling intermediate listening materials. Now there are quite a lot of materials available online that I've noted down here in the description to this video. Um, you can also buy intermediate Chinese course books and listen to the tapes um, but I would strongly advise that you don't just listen to lessons with a lot of English explanation or a lot of English talk in them. If you find that kind of material, fine, you can use it. But I would suggest that you just take the Chinese dialogue or the Chinese text from that and listen to that to help you learn. Um, I also recommend the Chinese pod intermediate and advanced lessons, or at least the Chinese dialogues from them. And also the listening comprehension books published by... Um, Beijing Language and Cultures University Press, um, which is called Han Han Yu Ting Han Yu Tingli Jiao Cheng, and there are also more materials out there for those of you who want them. Um, I'm still recommending course texts at this point to um, to build a bridge to reaching that more advanced level in Chinese, but I just recommend you use them as listening exercises in order to build your vocab and comprehension ability. If they have vocab in the books, um, then great. If not, you can use the system I just told you about to type in words to your computer in order to get the definition. Um, learn to use the flashcard software Anki, A-N-K-I, um, to input new words that you've learned into there um, to test yourself with new vocabulary. So copy and paste the characters and the pinyin into there for your reference. And then if you go over flashcards every day, um, then you'll find that your vocabulary increased, increases really quickly. Um, so I'm going to stop this video here and then break it into a second part to keep talking about this. Okay, so watch out for part two.